Well, hi everyone, I'm Judy Elliott. And I'm Sandra Derrick. And welcome to a great new show Elliott Media is rolling out this season for you, Cooking and Crafts with Sandra Derrick. And Sandra, we are so proud that you are here with us and uh, going to be bringing this great new show to us. Well, thank you so much. And I am very excited. And I think uh, people are going to learn tons of information and I can't wait. Right. We also want to thank the City of Arnell uh, Senior Community Center here uh, for letting us take this show in the location here and a beautiful facility. And, yes. And, um, Sandra, I also want to talk about uh, some of the things that you'll be bringing to us uh, throughout the season, a variety of different shows. Tell me right. a little bit about, first of all, what are we going to be doing today? Okay, today we're going to start talking about some little sewing tips, how to uh, put together some things at your house. I'm going to make a very quick and easy entree, and then I'm going to talk about storing your jewelry at home. So like you said, a, ver a variety of activities and ideas for people, and it's something for everybody. Right, and I know a little bit of um, people probably have seen you on Lifestyles for Women in the past. It was time to like branch out, let's do something even more uh, than what we have on Lifestyles. Right. Let's, let's continue with that process and bring another show as well, yeah. uh, Cooking and Crafts. Uh, a little bit about your background. Okay, I am from the Dalton area and I went to high school here. I went to college, majored in home economics, taught middle school home economics for 30 years. I did retire a few years ago, but I still have that home ec background. And I just want to share it with people here and um, I think it's going to be really fun. Oh, I think it's going to be great. It's a great new show. Um, we'll start this season and we'll continue this for several several episodes. So remember uh, Cooking and Crafts, you'll hear more about it as, as we get Get into the show. Um, you have a list of many, many things that you're going to bring several yes. different shows throughout the yes. season. So, anyway, we just want to say welcome to Cooking and Crafts with Sandra Derrick. We hope you'll enjoy the show. Elliot Media is proud to bring this to the community. Thank you so much, Sandra, for being the host here for the um, show. And you're very welcome. Thank we'll, you. Uh, look forward to having more uh, shows, Cooking and Crafts. Hi, I'm Johnny Miller at your Western Sizzlin in Ottawa, Tennessee and Dalton, Georgia, and I can tell you that infomercials work. We've been advertising monthly to reach our customers for over 17 years now, and I know that you can reach your customers as well. You can depend on Elliott Media to take care of all your advertising needs, and remember, Western Sizzlin, we're your family steakhouse. When you or your doctor orders any type of medical supplies, home health care rentals will be there for you. From oxygen, wheelchairs, walkers, and hospital beds to the simplest needs like crutches, hospital gowns, and even children's medical supplies. We make the process so easy by filing your insurance papers, giving instructions on how to use your equipment, and free delivery. We also offer 24-hour service seven days a week to assist you. Our friendly staff is always there during your time of need. We're conveniently located next to the Bradley Wellness Center and across from Regency Park in Dalton. When you're in the market for a new or scratch and dent appliance, Langford Appliance is the place to come. We're a locally owned business for over 30 years serving this area. Don't let your dollars go out of town. When you buy your appliances from Langford, your money stays right here in Dalton. And you can always count on us for the best service after the sale. We have a large parts and service department for all your appliance repairs or plumbing and hot water needs. Come see us when you're in need of any appliance. That's Langford Appliance at 319 North Glenwood Avenue in Dalton. Hey, welcome back to Cooking and Crafts. And I'm gonna start this first segment showing you some things that you can do at home to make a sewing kit. I was a clothing major in college and we did a lot of construction, but nowadays I find that people just really mend and they sew on buttons and they just wanna alter something. So I'm just gonna show you some quick tips of some things you can have at home that makes it easier for you. You'll need some kind of container. You can have a box, I personally use just a pencil pouch from a local discount store that has a zipper and I can see through it and I can look in there and I can see what I've got. You might want a pin cushion to keep your straight pins in. If you're cutting something off or you're going to turn the hem up at the bottom, you're going to pin it together. I love to have a seam ripper because sometimes I make mistakes, I make a lot of boo-boos and I have to take stuff out. And this has a little sharp end and I can hook the stitches underneath it and it just rips it out. 
People have probably seen this. I know my kids in middle school used to go, Miss Derek, why do we have a strawberry in the room? Well, this has ground up metal in it, and it actually sharpens your needles and your straight pins. Sometimes if you use these a lot, they get sort of rough at the edges or at the end, and you can just take it in and out, and it sharpens it instantly. It's sort of like magic. Um, I use beeswax, and what I use beeswax for is when I'm threading my needles, I run the thread through here, and it's like it gives that thread substance, and it makes it just a little bit easier for me to see the needle and thread it up. And all the things that I'm showing you today, you can get it at local discount stores. You can also get it in arts and crafts stores, and they're very inexpensive. I always have a pack of buttons because I always lose buttons always need to come in and sometimes I sew those buttons on and I've lost one. So I just, you know, you can buy these again at your local store. You'll need some hand sewing needles. I try to get some that have a really big eye. The eye is the part of your needle where you actually put the thread through it. My life savers are threaders. You can actually put your thread through here and it helps thread your needles. I won't demonstrate that for you right now because we probably don't have hours for me to get my glasses on and see it. But no, it really does help when you thread this because it makes life a lot easier. I always have safe, safety pins on hand too. I'm always needing something that something's come undone and if I keep it right in my sewing kit, I don't have to look the house over and ask my family, does anyone know where the safety pin is? It's always right here in this container and it makes my life a lot easier. I would suggest you get some little scissors. These are the fold-up type. You can just put a conventional, regular pair of scissors in there, but you need something to clip your threads and maybe cut your button off if you're, you know, it's just hanging there just a little bit. You might also need a tape measure. If uh, your child at home, or even for you, you wanna turn something up at the edge of your shirt or your pants, you'll need to measure it and make sure it's even all the way around. Not lastly, but close to the end here, we have some thread. I like the large spools of thread because I can basically use them forever, but I do like the smaller assortments. You can get this sometimes as a kit in a store, and you have all your basic colors, black, white, navy, and I would suggest you, you really use those colors because that's what we tend to use more of. Um, these, like I said, don't cost a lot of money, and this is something that everybody can use. And if you can thread a needle, you can basically sew. You can go online now and it even has instructions of how to sew on a button. My former students should already know how to do that because we went over it in class all the time. The last thing I want to show you is a magnifying glass. It loops around your neck. It props up on you and you can put your hands underneath it and you can thread your needle and you, it's still hands free. And this is one of the things that I absolutely love. I got that as a, at a local arts and crafts store here in town and it has been probably one of my biggest investments and I really, really like it. Uh, it lets me be my eyes when I still have my hands that are free. So again, um, these are just some simple tips very easy, very inexpensive. You can put them in something you already have at home. Don't go out and buy anything. And um, I promise you right now at everybody's house, you probably have a button missing. You have something that you've ripped in your sleeve or somewhere on your shoulder, and it needs to be repaired. And you can do it at home by yourself. Um, hope you've learned some tips. Uh, go home and uh, get your sewing kit out. And we'll be right back in just a second, and I have another great, great help and some um, ideas for you. When the diagnosis is cancer, you want the best. Advanced surgical, radiation, and chemotherapy treatment, all available under one roof, a center large enough to treat advanced or complex cases. A dedicated team of physicians, nurses, and therapists treating each patient the way they would want to be treated. It's all here at Hamilton Regional Cancer Institute. Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. Have you ever wondered why you cannot achieve a flat tummy like you had when you were a teenager? In spite of exercise, it seems like you're getting nowhere. It could be that you've had children and it's just impossible to achieve without having surgery. With a procedure called an abdominoplasty, we have specialized techniques that can repair the damage that has been done with the pregnancy or the weight loss. 
we can help you to achieve a flatter, tighter tummy like you had in your younger years. We are this close. We're this close. We are this close. Of all one to To making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. This close. This close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This close. We are this close to ending polio. To ending polio. All we need is you, is you. This close. If we don't act now, we may lose this chance forever. Help Rotary make history at endpolionow.org. Hi, welcome back. I have some great ideas to show you again. This is a main entree. This is called stuffed shells. It's actually one of my family's favorite things. Um, we're all looking for something to make for supper or dinner that doesn't take a lot of time, that's simple to make, yet yeah, everybody loves it. So I think this is really gonna be a winner for you. Um, I start out with jumbo shells, and they are actually in a box that looks like this, and they are huge, and uh, they're just plain pasta. I've yet to find the whole wheat in them. I'm still looking, and if I find it, I'll let you know. But what you need to do is cook these in a pan of water. Um, don't cook them, I'd say, more than seven, five, seven minutes. You don't want them to get so done that they're gonna fall apart, but because when you start to assemble in it, like I'm gonna show you in a minute, they just sort of just disintegrate, and they just, they're not that attractive. So you'll boil those in some just plain water, you want to strain it in your strainer, get all the water out. Uh, then I start a little assembly line. You want to cook some ground beef. Um, at my house, we cook ground beef, but you could do ground turkey, you could do ground chicken. You can also do like the chopped up chicken. Do whatever your family likes. You could also do it without the beef. You could just go meatless and be a vegetarian meal. Um, you do need an eight ounce pack of uh, cream cheese, and I use about a pound of the ground beef. You can always half this. You can use half of the ground beef, like a half a pound, and then half of your cream cheese. This is gonna serve about four people, five people, so if you only have a couple of people in your house, you could half it and then save the ingredients and have the other one, you know, make it a couple of weeks from now. You also want to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. What that means is you go ahead and turn your oven on before you start this process, and then by the time that we are going to put these in the oven for just a few minutes, your oven is already up to the temperature of 350 degrees. You don't have to sit there and wait, and your food doesn't have to just sit there. It can immediately start cooking. There's not a lot of cooking to this. It's mainly just getting everything warm, but it's nice to have it already in a, in a, in a preheated oven. So again, get your pasta shells, cook them, drain them well, put them on a plate, and I have four here. I'm not gonna make the entire uh, recipe because it just takes too long to assemble, but this will give you an idea of how to start and what to do. I have also cooked my ground beef and I've drained it well and I've added my cream cheese. At my house, I cook the hamburger meat in an electric skillet. And after it's done, I drain it and put it back, and then I put my cream cheese in the electric skillet. It's still a little warm, and it will mash up, and it just mixes in with the ground beef really well. What you do is just take your shells, and my hands are clean. I just wash my hands. And what you want to do is you want to stuff your shells. And you can put as much or as little of filling as you would like in there. My family, we like tons and go ahead and fill your shells up with your ground beef mixture. And again, if you prefer not to use the ground beef, you can just do the cream cheese. You're gonna need a container that's gonna be fit to put in the oven. You can spray it with some spray oil. I usually don't, mine usually doesn't stick. And you wanna put your shells in your pan. This box has around 15, 16, 18 shells. You want to put some sauce on the top. I hate to admit it, but I just use spaghetti sauce out of the container. I like to grate my own cheese because to me, it just tastes a little bit better. And then what you wanna do is put you some cheese on top of your shells, pop it in the oven, 
This only takes maybe seven, 10 minutes, and this is your outcome. Absolutely wonderful. And I'm gonna have a bite. Mm. Very, very good. Your whole family will love it. It's something simple. It's something that everybody can use. And go home and make it tonight. I hope we've, we've given you some tips. And you can change these ingredients to fit your family. Join me in, in just a few minutes, and I'm going to have another tip of um, how to organize your jewelry at home. Hi, I'm Johnny Miller at your Western Sizzlin' in Udawal, Tennessee and Dalton, Georgia, and I can tell you that infomercials work. We've been advertising monthly to reach our customers for over 17 years now, and I know that you can reach your customers as well. You can depend on Elliott Media to take care of all your advertising needs, and remember, Western Sizzlin', we're your family steakhouse. When you or your doctor orders any type of medical supplies, home health care rentals will be there for you. From oxygen, wheelchairs, walkers, and hospital beds to the simplest needs like crutches, hospital gowns, and even children's medical supplies. We make the process so easy by filing your insurance papers, giving instructions on how to use your equipment, and free delivery. We also offer 24-hour service seven days a week to assist you. Our friendly staff is always there during your time of need. We're conveniently located next to the Bradley Wellness Center and across from Regency Park in Dalton. When you're in the market for a new or scratch and dent appliance, Langford Appliance is the place to come. We're a locally owned business for over 30 years serving this area. Don't let your dollars go out of town. When you buy your appliances from Langford, your money stays right here in Dalton. And you can always count on us for the best service after the sale. We have a large parts and service department for all your appliance repairs or plumbing and hot water needs. Come see us when you're in need of any appliance. That's Langford Appliance at 319 North Glenwood Avenue in Dalton. At Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. It's why everything we do is with you in mind. It's why our associates and physicians are constantly advancing their skills with education and training. It's why we're reaching out into the communities we serve to improve the health of all residents. It's why we're ranked in the top 3% of all hospitals in the U.S. for overall hospital care based on independent research conducted by CareChecks, a division of Comparion. Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Hey, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. I'm going to show you some more tips of how to hopefully get organized at home. And this is with your jewelry. Um, I, I, at my house, I never could find my jewelry that I wanted to wear. I'd be ready to go somewhere and I would go, where are those earrings? And I would look through everything and then I was late. Uh, I never did find them. I wasn't really wearing or using all the bracelets and earrings and necklaces I had because mainly everything was so disorganized, I couldn't find it. So I thought, what can I do? So these are some simple tips that I've come up with. They really are very cost effective. They're, in, in my word, they're cheap. And uh, you can do this at home and you don't have to be a very creative person. The first thing is pretend that this is the inside of my closet at home. I couldn't bring my whole closet door, so I just got a little board and put some things on here. I have tons of necklaces. 
and you probably wouldn't want to put your fine diamonds and your uh, pearls and stuff, but this is your costume jewelry that you would wear, and I never could find it, and it was always tangled up in a mess. So what I do, this is actually in my bathroom. Uh, it's in my linen closet, and when you open up the door, I have taken these little hooks that have the self-adhesive on the back, and I have made like three rows. They go all the way across the inside of my uh, closet, not the outside of the closet door, but the inside and I just hang my necklaces on top of them. Uh, on each hook sometimes I have to hang three, four maybe necklaces but they still don't tangle up and when I go in to get dressed and I'm wanting to pick out a necklace I can just go through my assortment and I can see it and it's up eye level. I don't have to bend down in the bottom of a cabinet and this is something that has really really worked for me. Uh, it saved me from breaking some of my necklaces and again I've been wearing the thing that I had stored in my closet that I never use. And you can get the, the adhesive backs any discount store, you can actually find them at your grocery store. And they will come off very easily and there's no damage to your door. So maybe that's something you can try at home. The same way with my rings, I never could find the rings that I wanted to wear. This is something that I came up with. I actually bought this, and it's just a little ring holder. And I have had this forever. And you put your rings in here. You could actually put your earrings around the side. You can put this at a place, maybe in the kitchen, on the bathroom counter, in your bedroom. We have a walk-in closet at our house, and we have a chest. And sometimes I just put this on top of the chest, and when I come home, I put my ring there and I know exactly where it is and I don't have to search the house. Someone gave me this, it's a ring holder and it has little cutouts here that you can actually just slip your ring in and out. And this has worked for me well too. I tend to store this mostly in my closet and this is where I put my special things. I found this for traveling and the bottom is a canning lid and they've taken fabric and they've sewn around it and this one has pockets on the inside. Uh, you know, those are a little bit more complicated. But if you're traveling, you put your jewelry in here and it has a drawstring and it closes it up. And you can find these at arts and crafts sometimes at local fairs and local arts and crafts things. And when you're traveling, this keeps your watch, your rings, your necklaces, your bracelets in here, and they don't go all over your suitcase. So this is something that I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. The next to the last thing are my earrings. And again, they were in the bottom of a pile in the drawer. This is a piece of plastic canvas. You can get plastic canvas at an arts and crafts store, a discount store. It actually comes in colors. The piece that I brought today is clear. Um, it comes in a sheet, maybe 11 by 8, and you can just take your scissors and you can cut it to whatever size you need. It has little holes all the way through it. I hang this up, so I just ran some ribbon at the top and I stick my earrings through there. I put my little loops at the bottom and then on the back is you just put your post of your earrings. And I can hang these up again on the back of my closet door and I can find all my earrings. I have a pen that I'm very, very uh, uh, partial, I guess, about. So uh, I really like it too. So I hope this is a, is a good way that you can put your uh, earrings and you can store them and um, you can find them. Also, these don't get stuck in each other and sometimes I would open my drawer and I would stick myself with my earrings. But uh, this is a great tip. The other thing I have are my bracelets. I could never find my bracelets. I really, again, didn't know where they were. This is a mug holder. In fact, I think my father-in-law gave this to our family. This has four little prongs or four little holders and I just put my bracelets on top of them. And now when I look, I can see exactly what I need. I also put my watches on here too. And uh, today if I'm going out in this outfit, I can pick out a bracelet that I want to wear and uh, I can find it a lot easier and it makes my life a lot better. One other tip of what I do too is if I'm going somewhere, let's say in the morning, I go ahead and I put out my ring, I put out my bracelet, 
and I'll go ahead and get my earrings and put them out and maybe in my closet, sometimes on my bathroom sink. I'll go ahead and put my necklace down. And when I get ready in the morning, I'll go, all this stuff is ready. And I don't have to go, where's my purple necklace? Where's my silver bracelet? Because everything's already out. So I hope you can use these tips, and uh, me, I just really like keeping things organized. My time is very valuable, and I really don't like it spending it looking for things, which is what I used to do. I would get ready to go somewhere, and I would spend 10 minutes of my time trying to find something, and I thought, this is enough. I can't do this anymore. So I have found if you will take 15 minutes to organize yourself, you can sleep later in the morning, you can actually do some things with your family, or you don't have to spend it looking in through drawers and trying to find your jewelry. So again, hang your necklaces on the back of a closet door, organize your rings where you will know exactly where they are and you won't be worried that you washed them down the uh, kitchen sink. Put your earrings in some kind of container that works for you, where you can look at them at a glance and you can find out what you, what you have. And then put your bracelets in some device, and the mug holder worked absolutely wonderful for me. And uh, hopefully you can find your things a lot better. So this is a tip that I think we can all use, and uh, this just makes you want to go out and shop for more jewelry and buy some more because now you have a place to put it, so it's a really good excuse to go shopping. So I hope you've enjoyed that tip, and I want to review on the other couple of things that we went over today. I hope you will try the shells. They're very good. You can adapt it to your family. This is sort of uh, cooking, but you can change the uh, ingredients. You can change the cheese. You can change the cream cheese. You can change the beef to chicken. Um, it's very good. This also stores well. If you make it tonight for supper, you can have it tomorrow for leftovers. And this also freezes very well too. You can pop this in some Ziploc bags and freeze it. You can have it next week and um, you know that's always good to come home and just pop something in the microwave or the oven that you don't have to cook. And lastly, I hope you've enjoyed some uh, tips about sewing. Like I said, I was a clothing major in college, and um, sewing used to be my life. We would sew clothes, and we would sew curtains and everything else. Now I find my time is more um, that I repair things. I go buy things, and I repair them. And um, you don't know how the number of students that are, or I should say my former students, come up to me and say, thank you for showing me how to sew on a button. And I will say it's more of the male students that I had than the female students. Um, they sew buttons on for their kids at, at home. Um, they do a lot of the sewing repair because they're the only one in their family that does know how to sew. Makes me feel really proud, you know, my head swells and I know that they've become everything because of what they learned in my class, which is not true, but I like to hear that. But I'm really glad that uh, my former students and hopefully you guys watching um, will learn these things and you can do them at home. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, these are three simple things or topics that everybody can do at home and thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks a bunch. To advertise your business on TV, contact Elliott Media at 706-529-4237.